bring this back to to something tangible, a takeaway for those real estate professionals who are um, who are in the audience is think very carefully about how important these things are to today's buyers and think about how to reframe your your marketing, right? Your your ad copy and even how you present your photos in what order. I had to make a big shift when I started working with more buyers who were interested in uh, whether it was a kitchen or whether it was an outdoor kitchen or whether it was a uh, um, you know outdoor features, water access. And I would get so frustrated when I had to uh, scroll through 75 pictures with 12 shots of the laundry room uh, to even get to where I could determine whether or not the, the lifestyle was a fit. So I think that we can all do a better job if we if we take a step back and don't be so focused on on the the brick and mortar and and focus more on on what's going to really appeal to a buyer and yeah, make yeah. them want to come see it. Absolutely, and that's a mindset that I don't think everybody embraces equally. Um, I think a lot of us, and, and I'm going to tie this back into the outdoor experience, the topic at hand. But I think a lot of us, when we're when we're uh, showcasing our luxury homes that we're looking at the photography and we're all using you know top-notch photographers but when we're looking at the photography it's almost like a photographic journal of walking through the house room to room here's the dining here's the formal living here's the what and and that's not really i think what the buyers are after of course they want to know the basic floor plan or what the home has to offer but i think when you focus more on the experience as a listing broker and that experience includes this outdoor living and all these common areas and things in the area that aren't necessarily even part of the neighborhood, but part of the experience. That I think is what we're really trying to sell. So for me, how that how that translates, you know, I might have, you know, a hundred or a couple hundred photos perhaps in some of these homes, or typically probably 75. But I want to boil that down to my 25 or 30 pictures, or maybe a few more of that luxury home, not a cataloging every room in the house, but the experience. So to your point, Tammy, it might start off with that front elevation photo or that aerial of the property that everybody kind of expects to see, which is the house. This is the house. Yeah. Which is, which that, one is it? Which one is, yeah, that's a good one. Which one is it? It's that one. It's beautiful. It's that one. After we passed that one, then I like to try to incorporate very quickly the experience. If there's a, if there's a pool or a hot tub or for adjacent to a park or a greenway, or there's some wonderful outdoor amenity, let's use some of those lifestyle photos intermixed with the uh, home. And don't wait to go to 25 pictures before you see those. Exactly. Because, because really when you're in a, in a home, unless you're an architect or a builder, what most people really care about is what the, what is the experience going to be like? Right. Think, like the here. Think about every showing that you've had where the buyer walks in the front door and... Um, and and you want to show them the house, and they invariably go straight out in the back door, right? Straight right, out yep. the back door. So I think we can we can learn from that, and uh, uh, and I know that I am shifting up so that my first half dozen photos are are the money ones, right? They're they're yep. selling the lifestyle, they're selling the most engaging um, attributes of the property. So that was the oh, go ahead, sorry. Nope. Go go right ahead. I was going to say this. It reminds me. This is this is so funny. I know, I know you've seen this, or I, I suspect you've seen it. A lot of our listeners have, and if you haven't, you should. There was a video that was produced for a listing in Australia, and I think it's been more than ten years ago, and it still gets a lot of traffic. It was a video produced by the listing broker showcasing a luxury home and beautiful classical music playing. Um, and it had really no intro, just, just you launches right into a video. It's all black and white, as I recall. And it shows these nice, slow, graceful camera movements. And you see a couple in bed. And uh, I think he gets up first and walks through the house. And he works out. And he goes to the kitchen, gets some coffee. And she's still in bed, turning over, relaxing. And he's walking through the house and doing all these things, the gym, the pool. He gets in the pool and does all this stuff. But the interesting thing is, as he's walking through the house, he never bothers to get dressed. And so the the video, have you seen this, Tammy? I have. You talk about? I the video, have. The video yeah. shows glimpses of him from the from the back. Right. They never show, they never right. show the right. whole thing. Yeah, glimpses yeah. from the back. 
And it seems so gratuitous until you get to the end of the video. It's so well executed. I'm not recommending this, by the way. <laughs> this was done really well. I doubt we could replicate it very easily. But basically, it gets to the end of the video where the doorbell rings and this same guy comes to the front door. He, I think he hands keys to the guy at the door and then walks down the driveway, never still putting his clothes on. And you never see another house out the driveway. And the real estate broker looks at the camera, and this is the first time you hear him speaking. It talks about the address of this property being so private, you don't even have to get dressed to walk around the property. And it was just so funny that the whole point of the, the video was to show all the amenities of the home, the outdoor living, and the fact that it's so private. Getting dressed as an option, I thought, man, that was just incredibly well done, but probably not to be mimicked. 